Yes, I'm Alison Davis, I'm President of Essex Savers, which is the credit union that serves Essex, including Southend and Thurrock. And you've got a bit of good news to share, haven't you? We have, yes. We've, we've now lent £3 million to our members, that's in over 4,000 loans, which is actually saving Essex uh, millions of pounds, particularly on rental repossessions, we potentially saved them nine million by avoiding people actually being repossessed, helping them with rent arrears and rent deposits. Presumably you're the exact polar opposite of a loan shark. We are indeed, yes. Loan, loan sharks, apart from being illegal, uh, uh, charge, um, I think the latest is they charge up to 131,000% APR. Our highest APR is 26.8% and that's the legal limit for us. You are in fact the honest brokers, the honest bankers. Well, How on earth do you do it? Well, we, we call ourselves local ethical banking services. Um, we do it because we've got dedicated people and we don't really, really pay many people that work for us, though we'd love to. Um, we just need to get to the stage where we grow big enough to be able to support ourselves and cover our costs. So we've now, we, we're coming to the stage where we've got almost a million saved with us and we've got 750,000 out on loan. But what we earn on that doesn't cover the costs of running in 28 plus places across Essex and still expanding. If it wasn't for you, how many people would be fed to the sharks? Well, probably those 4,000 for a start. Um, we, you know, I mean, we lent in, in November alone 100,000. We, we lend, uh, we do up to 30 loans a week. We, we actually help, help people by paying off payday loans. We can turn loans around relatively quickly to avoid people having to use payday lenders. Our problem is that people come to us as a last resort, they don't know about us, so they're coming when they've already got problems. Um, and, and that means that it's a lot more difficult to help people. What we need is people to come up, well we need the population of Essex to save with us, and then if they have any problems then they can come and we can um, lend what they need. So. Uh, people like myself who are fortunate enough uh, to be, um, how would I describe it? Not struggling financially. <laughs> <laughs> comfortable. Not fairly comfortable. Fairly com only fairly We comfortable. should actually put our money with you rather than a no normal high street bank B because? Because your, your money is then working to help other people, to help the people who are struggling. At the moment, there's no return on that money, but once we're in profit, then there would be an annual dividend. But then, what would you get at the bank anyway? Peanuts. Absolutely. And probably financing and <laughs> money laundering, <laughs> weapons, <laughs> who knows? Who knows what? Well, <laughs> depends which bank you're with. <laughs> of course, of yes, course. We won't make comments on no. that. So, where do you go for help yourselves. Where do you get money from to sail this ship? Right, um, well not very many places really. Um, uh, we've a, f a few housing associations have helped us a little bit. Uh, we did for a few years get um, some help from Essex County Council but um, they haven't helped us since so... Uh, Just a minute, Essex County Council haven't helped you since and yet you must be saving them how much money a year in well in defaulters? lots of ways um, because the thing is that we're helping people who, people with money worries cost money um, people who've got money worries their relationships break down that means that's more welfare benefits double the amount of housing people who need help they're, they're all the health issues so it's GP visits, doctor's visits, people who can't stay in employment because they can't hold down their jobs because they're worried. Which is why we encourage all the, um, the businesses in Essex 
including the local authorities and housing associations, to get their, mem their staff joining us so that they've always got a backstop if they need financial help and they can pay in by payroll deduction, which means we know that we've got money coming in to lend. And if those people want to borrow from us, they, they're a low risk loan so that we can offer them more money than we would normally to other people. And uh, they, can, they can just pay it back as they would um, when they're saving with us. So an organisation who's holding the breach in preventing people from entering the workhouse or worst are not helped at all by anybody in Essex. Not really and, and the half a million that it cost to set this up and the 10 years work, the half a million was, was, funded, was not funded from Essex. Should we all be ashamed of ourselves? Well probably, yes. <laughs> and we should certainly all be joining Essex Savers. <laughs> I understand you've just issued a press release. Indeed, yes. I hope you're going to send one to CRH News. We are indeed, yes. What are you saying in them? Really, we, we were making the announcement that we'd hit the three million mark in, in, in the lending we've done um, since in the last um, seven years. Um, also, just to say that we, you know, we are growing and we had uh, 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 our guest speaker at the at our AGM was John Spence CBE and he was um, commending us for growing and 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 hugely benefiting um, Essex with what we're doing. Well you've got the platform now what subject what would you like to say to camera? I would just like to encourage the people of Essex to join and become saving members the business in it is in Essex because we are we are now legally able to take on uh, corporates, so businesses of all sizes, you know, from ICI down to the local scout group, so they can all join too, and encourage your staff to to join up and pay by payroll deduction, and for those businesses who can who want to support their, their the community, um, including the local authorities, we we need we need you to actually invest long term. So deferred shares and subordinated lending, which, is, which will help us to run and meet our capital requirements.